Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to our playthrough of Rome Total War as the Julii. Uh, last time out, we fought off yet another invasion <laughs> of Melanium, and I'm hoping now that finally we will be able to move forward and just knock them out. Um, but their general did get away, and I'm hoping he didn't run north, because I'm going to head west. Uh, so just checking out our army here. Um, I think we're still pretty healthy here. We still have enough soldiers to go and take Massilla. So we're going to take out this Gallic army that's standing right here. Next turn. And also we are going to take Salona. Now this town is going to be very different to the ones we've faced so far. It's going to have... Um, well, it's just going to look different. As you can see, the defenders are actually um, uh, Grecian instead of Barbarians. And you can tell just by looking at them. And they have a unit of hoplites, which, I mean, they shouldn't do too much damage, but they can be a nightmare to fight, fight against, especially if uh, you hit them head on. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take Salona. I think we have enough soldiers there. Um, yeah, and there's no walls, so let's do it. And as you can see, we absolutely dominate them, a ratio of 5 to 1. So this should be, and I say this cautiously, this should be fairly straightforward. But uh, let's get into it and find out if that's the case. So, uh, here we are. Um, as you can see, all of our units are over there. And as you can see, the layout of the town is different. It's actually got buildings and not huts, like barbarians. So, I mean, this city is a walled city. It would be a lot harder to take. <laughs> it's a lot easier to defend a city that's walled, obviously. Um, so... Uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm just planning on attacking on three sides um, with maybe three units of a start in each three just purely you know to surround them I think that's all we need to do and then that should make it a pretty simple victory because when they flee they'll all flee towards the center I mean that's if they're not all camped out at the center um, but yeah let's uh, put these three here in a group so that's the the left now we want to put another three to attack the center here. So let's use these three. I mean, it doesn't really matter which ones. Oh, I can't attack the right. So we have to leave them. I have to put them here, actually, for the right. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, that's just going to take a little bit of added time. And then let's put another three units here for the middle. Um, I mean, I don't really need to do much else. Um, I, I suppose I want to get the cavalry in position, maybe, yeah, put them here behind the centre lot, and then the other guys are just reinforcements, so, uh, yeah, I think we're ready with our preparations, so, just double check, yeah, everybody's in place, all the units in place, oh, I haven't grouped these guys up, so let's group them up. And, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start. So let's go. Let's just analyze uh, the situation as it is at the minute. And we need to move these, these three units up. Up top. There we go. Put them up here. Lovely job, Lee. Okay. Awesome. I make them run as well, because... You know, we like running. Running's good. And then let's move these three units into the town. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do these ones first. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I seem to be making this a lot look a lot more fancy and harder than it needs to be. Realistically, I could probably just run in with all my soldiers and just, you know, annihilate them. Whoa, what was that? Did I just see a unit outside the town? Um, yes, it's a bunch of... Are those peasants? No, they're mercenaries. Oh, well, well let's <laughs> use our three units to annihilate this one unit. And then let's hit them in the rear with the cavalry. Oh, the cavalry are too far away. They're probably not going to get there in time. But, same. Doesn't matter. I need the cavalry over this side anyway. 
But yeah, I'm surprised that they've uh, done that. I mean, to be honest, that's pretty suicidal because these are skirmishing units. So they shouldn't fare that well against my um, my Astarte. Although I am losing a lot more men than I'd like here. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we should be able to take them out. There we go. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> Literally, here comes the cavalry. Um, so hopefully we can hit them in the oh they're, they're breaking they're gonna die they're gonna slaughtered as they try to run away. <laughs> I mean, if I was in a battle like this and I wanted to run away, I would not run into the enemy. I'd be running in the opposite direction. Uh, oh, they're gonna throw their javelins as well. Uh, well, not too many of them are throwing them. We don't want them to throw them and waste them. So let's just reorganize them. Don't know what my cavalry are doing. Just attack. Just wipe them out, damn it. Okay, all the other units are in position. Good. So let's move forward. Um, the other un the other enemy units aren't moving, which is a little bit annoying. I was hoping I wouldn't have to take them on in the city square, but it looks like that might be the case. I love how, as well, you look at this, you've got the shrine here. You know, the buildings that you build outside, you actually get to see them when you're on the battlefield. Oh, oh, it looks like they're moving. Oh, the uh, hoplites are moving. Well, I definitely don't want the hoplites to face my cavalry. They would slaughter them. Um, so let's try and advance with these units here. Hmm. Let's pause it. Let's uh, let's take stock. All right. Let's move these guys over here so that we can go up to the city center, and then we do finally get to attack the city center from three sides. Let's use these units here. Okay. Um, let's move these guys forward. They're all right, mess at the minute. And let's move these guys forward, and then. Pretty straightforward, I think, now. I think we should be okay. I think this battle's pretty much done, just purely by numbers. I mean, you saw at the start, the, the battle ratio was 5 to 1. I, didn't, I don't think I outnumbered him 5 to 1, it's just my my soldiers are a better quality, even though they're the, the most basic Roman soldiers that you can get. I mean, three units against these uh, mercenaries should still be pretty effective, especially when I surround them. But the hoplites worry me a little, because hoplites can, can do some right damage if they're used correctly. But if they're used incorrectly, they are useless. So let's make them the latter. Huh? Okie dokie. So, uh, let's move these guys forward. Come on. Let's go. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's guarding his, his city center with peasants. So, <laughs> uh, defeat seems certain. So it looks like we're going to annihilate them, which is good. Which is good. As you can see, all of them are fleeing. Mm-hmm. My soldiers are doing their dirty... Oh, there's the cavalry as well. Let's just use the cavalry to wipe these guys out. Because peasants literally are the worst, the worst unit in the game. <laughs> they literally only have a tiny sword, no armor, no defense, nothing, no training. They're just useless. And yet they still kill some of my guys. Oh, we kill his general. They still kill some of my cavalry. Oh, uh, it's a joke. It's a joke. All right, well, let's finish them off as they're running before they get into position. Otherwise, they will form and kill me. And lovely jubbly, Bob's your uncle, that's that. This town will be ours. Just finish off these guys in the middle here. Surround them, kill them all. They're fighting well. Fighting to the death. Distraught over the number of enemies. <laughs> 
I can imagine. Oh, there's my general right in the thick of it. Don't you die on me. That would be annoying. There we go. Awesome. So this town is now ours. Perfect. Let's have a look how we did. How did we do? Okay, we lost 112 guys. Okay, that's a lot more than I'd have liked. But it's not the end of the world. Right. So the expertise just lost a few. Okay. All in all, generally simple battle. Not too difficult. Um, so this is our town now. Eh? In the middle of nowhere. Um, so it only had a thousand people, I think. So we don't really need to exterminate it. We just need to populate it. Yeah, it's got a thousand population. Uh, so I don't know what we need to do. Oh, mine. Mine means lots of money. So we definitely want to knock down the Grecian shrine and build a Roman one. So let's do that. Which one should we go for? Probably the population boost. Yeah. So yeah, this thing's in the middle. Oh, it has gone blue because it took out the shrine. <laughs> There we go. Mission successful. Um, yeah, so... I mean, this thing is in the middle of nowhere, though. Salona is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let's say uh, use my um, diplomat. Let's move my diplomat. Oh, wow. They've pretty much taken all of the Greek area. Now, that would have been difficult. I am falling behind. <laughs> I'm seriously falling behind here. Ah, the games, yes. Thank you very much. Make me more popular, I guess. Alright, so let's uh, use our army here and take out this this captain. Oh, yeah, I can't do that till next time. Alright. Uh, let's, let's put a soldier in here, then. Because the face is yellow. We don't like yellow faces. Alright, blockade the port of Sparta now. I'm not going to do that. Don't need to. Path blocked, of course. Alright, let's see if we can find some towns. Oh, what's this? Ooh, the Parthians. Let's have, uh, let's have some, let's have a trade, and you give me some money. How about that? Nope, you want me to give you money. Well, that is not happening. So, let's not do that. Let's make a demand of 100. Let's see what you say to that. No, you still want me to give you money? Oh, okay, how about we just go for trade rights? And you accept it. Awesome. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we can't go further, though, because he's covering the bridge. As you can see here, hillmen, they're like the, the peasants. Eastern infantry. Ooh, I mean, cavalry that can fire archers are a pain in the arse to, to tackle. Purely because they just do so much damage from afar. Ooh, large town. I'll have a governor's palace, please. Thank you. And Sigestica, okay. Let's uh, have a governor's palace there as well. Nice. <clears throat> um, what else? Retinue expands. Okay. Ah, Salona, we built the shrine. Um, let's build a road. Let's use up all our money. See if we can maybe get the uh, the gold mine next turn. Okay. Oh, ceasefires. Okay. No more fighting between Greece and Macedon because the Brutii are annihilating them. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So I think we're good here. Okay, let's, uh, hmm. I don't know, I think we should end our turn. I don't really think there's anything more we can do. So, let's have a quick once over, let's check. Um, still blockading Marcella. Don't really know why. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I've got to do something with the, with the Navy. <laughs> All right, Let, oh, he, he moved away. Let's uh, go down here then. Oh, what have we got? Ah, there's the general. Hello, Mr. General. We want to take you out. 
Can I take him out? Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. Unfortunate. Oh, where'd that stack come from? Crying out loud. It's got another stack. It's like he's just spawning massive armies on me. It's rather annoying. I'm not going to lie. Hey. Alright. Well. How are we doing over here? Salona. Hmm. See if I can get the... Uh, yeah, we want to get rid of all these things. But not yet. We don't have the money to replace them. Um, barracks now. All right. Well, what else is there to do? Let's end the turn. Okay. Yeah, you can go away. Go. Don't like you. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Our diplomat. Alright, let's move our diplomat forward. Okay, well, these constructions have all been done. Right, oh, we have enough for a gold mine. Let's build that. Nice. And the roads, yep, yeah, they're done. Awesome. So we've got no money left now. So there's a, oh my god, there's another Gallic army next to Mallet. Just give it up, man. No, it's not too threatening, actually. It's only three units. But seriously, what is the obsession? I mean, really, what is the obsession? I mean, I got enough units there to fight them off, so let's take out this general once and for all. Leave me alone. La di da di da di da. Right, same as before. I think we're just going to have a straight line and we're just going to attack him. It's only a couple of units, so it should be fairly simple. So I'm just going to fast forward it here, guys, and I will meet you when we're at the end of the battle, I think. Alright, here we are, ready to engage. So we want to take out those uh, missiles because they did a lot of damage to my cavalry as I misplaced my cavalry. Leading to me losing uh, uh, quite a few soldiers. But here we are. Attack! Everybody attack! Let's get this over and done with as soon as possible. We want to take out that general, so let's get the cavalry ready to attack. There we go. Oh, that's a light cavalry. That's not a general. Where's the general? Oof. Oh, you made my unit break. Ugh, don't like that. All right. Everybody attack the general. Everybody. Well, that unit of start is going to be uh, amalgamated into the others. <laughs> oh, please tell me that general is... Uh, no, we want to continue this. We want to kill the general. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Another general down. And let's just mow them down, mop it up. And I'll see you at the end of the battle, guys. There we go. As you can see, 84 casualties. It's a lot more than I'd have liked. Uh, but, you know, there's the Hestati, they killed four guys and took out and lost 53. So they will be disbanded amongst my other units. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we will move forward. I mean, it's not really, I'm just, I'm shocked at where they keep getting all these soldiers from. But now we're going to move on Massilla, definitely. And let's just, um, 
disperse this unit, disperse the soldiers between each oh my god, I've only got six units that are starting now. Or is that seven? Ugh. Man. I should still be okay though. Alright, let's go and besiege Masilla. Okay, as you can see this time I do have to build battering rams. So let's do that. Let's build uh, three, should be sufficient, I think. There we go. They'll take one turn and then we can use them. Oh my god, there's three big stacks of goals. Oh, that's not good. I think we might lose our army here. Ugh, that's disappointing. But I have no idea where those three, three massive stacks have come from. Oh well, we'll just have to defend it. Hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, guys, let's just check our final things before we finish the episode. He's finally dead. Good. All right. So, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a subscribe. Um, and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>